Hey guys, this is Man Overboard again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, yeah, I'm lying down in bed. It's been a, a long day for me, a lot of catching up, going to the gym, got a bit of exercise, uh, went to work. It's Sunday, I know, but I uh, did a bit of work to earn some extra cash just before Christmas. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, make this short. Um, firstly, I should uh, wish you all a, a Merry Christmas. I uh, don't know if I'll be recording and uploading before then, so if I don't, it's a Merry Christmas to each and every one of you, and thanks for watching my channel. Um, what I was going to talk about was, I'm going to make, a decisions, make some decisions next year. Uh, a friend of mine wants me to go to the United States for a month or two, uh, just to see if things might be better for me over there. I'm a bit sceptical, because I know... I know things really aren't that different when it comes to socialising. Women are pretty much the same everywhere, but you never know. Maybe a, a fresh start and new scenery might help me. The other thing um, I'd like to 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 discuss and maybe get your, your feedback on if you watch my channel is, um, you know, I've already spent thousands and thousands on products that, you know, to make women self-improve, uh, get better with women, attract women, uh, and just things for also for my own... Um, for my own growth and my own well-being and and and, and self-development. Just wondering what you think it would be best for me at this stage to dump some more money on some stuff that may or may not help me, or uh, or not. So I was um I was to, I know, I've been talking about things like uh, yeah, pheromones and hypnosis and other things out of left field to try and help me improve mentally and and. Um, I don't know, is it worthwhile? I really don't know, but um, sorry, I'm a bit buggered from a, a busy day. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've, I've already done a PUA boot camp as well. It's cost me $3,000. I've got nothing for it. Uh, I've got you know quite a lot of books in my arsenal about you know self-improvement, meeting women, uh, looking more, being more attractive, looking more attractive. Uh, do I need to pump more money into that to get results that I'm after? Or do I uh, just need to focus on myself physically uh, at the gym uh, and with my diet and exercise? Or do I need to do a whole lot of combination of more? Either way, I've spent thousands and I get the feeling that I'm going to have to spend more and more just to get little to no return. Now, I've mentioned that I have, you know, I'm not in cell. I've been in, uh, been in a couple of relationships. One was asexual. I've had sex, you know, I've, I've had... Um, uh, one night stands with women once over here in Australia, also a few times when I was overseas uh, with women um, I, I met over there, uh, mostly non English speakers. Uh, I've had two girlfriends in my past. One was, oh, well, put it this way, I was both uh, both of those girls I was not attracted to physically. Uh, one was uh, a manic depressive. She was very much overweight, lithium dependent manic depressive. Uh, crazy girl who slept behind my back during the day when I was at work. She slept behind my back with some guy from her course. Uh, she was studying at the time. And, um, yeah, after four months, that relationship fizzled out. Well, I was never really attracted to her physically to begin with. I did it for the sake of being in a relationship. Uh, maybe she was on the same. I don't know if she was on the rebound or what the story was, but I, I don't, don't recall. But it didn't last very long. Uh, and the sex kind of dried up. We started off you know, really physical, but I wasn't really into her. Uh, I, I just wanted a relationship. I just wanted a female companionship and, and to know what it was like. And uh, it was good while it lasted. But uh, as I said, wasn't really attracted to her. And I don't think she was attracted to me. And uh, the sex eventually dried out. And um, she was seeing someone behind my back. And then one day we had a, a little bit of a, an argument. And then she said she doesn't want me there anymore. I was staying at her house at the time. And because uh, I was, it was where she was living was close to where I was working at the time, and uh, she chucked me out. So I had to go back to my parents' place. This was when I was, was when I was in my mid twenties, and then I had to find my own place and start again. Uh, and the second one, yeah, once again, she was uh, she was from overseas. English wasn't her first language. She was uh, heavily overweight, not an attractive girl. Well, a semi pretty face, but I wouldn't say she was stunningly attractive. I I don't think I was attracted to her. She had a lot of weight on her tummy. She was very overweight again. 
Uh, and um, it was all asexual. She was not attracted to me. She kept on telling me, oh, I'll just be sex before, sex after marriage, not before. And, uh, you know, I would have had sex with her if, if she wanted it, but I don't think she did because she wasn't attracted to me. I don't think I was attracted to her either, to be honest. And that's where it, that's where it all died off. And uh, that was that, that relationship was almost a year and a half. But um, I know at the time my parents weren't happy with her. They didn't really like her, and she didn't really get on with my parents. And uh, that was another big problem with our relationship. Uh, now I've said to myself, and I swore to myself this time that the next girl I get into a relationship with, if I ever get into a relationship again, and as I said, I'm not really after a relationship. I'm more after just some you know casual sex, maybe some good times with a girl, but at my age, uh, my late, mid, late 40s, um, girls at my age, just not right for me anymore, uh, they're looking for things that I'm not looking for, they're looking to be dominant in, in the relationship, you know, it's got to be their way or the highway mostly, and, and they're all, a lot of them are divorced, and they're all, you know, coming out of marriages that never worked, and I don't want to be the, the second hand, hand me down, I know people make mistakes, but, you know, I, when I was younger, if people gave me a chance when I was in my sexual prime and they didn't, it would have been a different story. But because they haven't, you know, it, it's it's kind of a mute point for me. I don't want to go there. Uh, I would like to go into the younger market if possible, uh, where, you know, some of these women aren't so jaded and they're still, you know, young and youthful and, and fertile, have that fertile look and they're, and they're friendly, not jaded. Uh, but I swore to myself after these two relationships that I ever get into another relationship again, It'll only be with a woman that I'm attracted to physically. Uh, I'm not going to go and dip down once again to women that I'm not attracted to just to be in a relationship. That, I've done that already. I've done that twice, and it's probably not worth the time and effort. So the next time I, I'm, if I ever get in a relationship with a girl, it's going to be on my terms, and hopefully, and I, not hopefully, definitely, with a girl that I'm physically attracted to and, you know, I, I can have a good time with, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired of being the, the, the man who no one wants uh, and it's time to make a change. And it's at my parents' place tonight and went to pay them a visit and have dinner there and I swore to myself, I said, I don't want to be doing this anymore. I don't want to be, you know, coming over to my parents' place and having dinner from time to time. It'd be nice. It's not anything wrong. It's nice. It's nice, but not, not often. Uh, and you know, I just want to be in a relationship with a girl and who I'm attracted to and who's attracted to me. And, um, you know, we're all happy and we go out for dinner and you know, we have a good time together. That That's all I'm after. That That's really all I'm after. I'm not after, uh, I guess I'm not after a, a, a long-term thing. I'm just after a, you know, casual time with a casual, you know, casual relationship with a good, good time girl who likes to have a good time and I'm attracted to, and hopefully she's attracted to me. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think I should uh, dump some more money on some more products uh, in the hope that they'll, I'll find the one magic bullet that will work for me? Or do you think I should just uh, focus on other things and let the woman naturally fall into my life, as they like to say that normally happens uh, when things work out well? Uh, leave your comments below. And if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe and also share. Thank you.